Good morning. Um, okay, so today I'm going to show you our mineral eye pigments, Moodstruck mineral pigments. Um, they are amazing for eyeshadow. Uh, they're twelve fifty each, or you can get a set of three for forty five. Or I'm sorry, a set of four for forty five. Um, and I totally recommend the set because anytime I use the pigments, I use at least two to three colors, like at a time. So, and there's over 30 colors to pick from. So there's got to be at least two to four that you're eyeballing. Um, and what I want to say about them is, yep, they're 1250, right? They are pretty small, right? If I could see the ounces. Old eyes. I don't even know. Tiny. Anyway, um, this one is adorable. And the reason I'm talking to you about the size and the cost is because I went back into my orders way back to find out when the heck I ordered this little guy. I ordered it in July last year, July of 2015. Um, and I am just starting, well, it is. I don't even know if I'm going to get any today. I have another one on order because I can't really live without this color. But I ordered it in July. And it just ran out. So, oh, and this color. I'm sorry. I'm like a babbling fool today. Happy Friday. Um, this color I use 95% of the time on my eyes. It doesn't matter if I'm using all pigments or if I'm using my splurge or if I'm using one of the palettes. This color is always going to be, for the most part, up here on my eye. So they last a long, long time. All right, so um, today I'm using, of course, that one, if I can get any out on my upper lid. And I'm going to use Sassy, I already have it open, Sassy on my lid, which is like a really pretty shimmery pink color. And then one of my other go-tos is Enamored. I usually use that in my crease. So let's play. So one thing about mineral eye pigments that you can do, because some people don't like the loose powder. Okay, we can fix that. Um, they like it a little creamier and they like it to pop a little more. So this is our rose water, which is technically a toner, but it's, oh gosh, toner, it's, uh, you can use it to set your makeup, everything. I use it all the time. Um, you can use it to spritz in your mascara in the gel tube, and it um, makes it a little thinner if you think your mascara is too thick. The other thing you do is, so you take your cover. This is the cover for the eye pigments, right? I'm going to spritz in there. And then tap out my pigment. I'm going to do it down here because it's easier than holding it. Okay. Then I'm going to take, which brush am I using? I'm using a, oh no, one of my brushes just fell in the bathtub. Sorry. Okay. I'm using the liner shader brush and I'm just going to use the shader side. So then I'm just going to mix up because there's some rose water in the cover. Mix it up. Not rocket science, really. And just, this is a super light, like cute, shimmery pink if you don't want to go have some kind of bold color for the day. I really like it though. It's really pretty. Having you as my mirror is always an interesting experience. And you know what? I have the most fabulous mirror that I've only used once for a vendor event. I'm so silly. I need to take it out of the bag and use it because it's pretty too. All right, so, whatever, there you go. Not hard. Uh, most of my face is done, so if you have not tried our eye primer yet, you totally need to. That is amazing stuff. It helps to, okay, this is like my weird eye because I just... You know when you have one eye that's easy to do and one eye that's not? Because you're just like left-handed or whatever. Or right-handed and it's your other eye. Whatever. Alright. 
so I don't know. Once I get done, I'll go to the real mirror and see what mess I've created. Okay, so that is just one color. That's sassy. It's a little pink, shimmery. So now I'm gonna do my crease, and I'm gonna use Enamored. My child is freaking out because I have him dated into the playroom. Like, that's the worst place he could be, right? Ugh. But I don't trust him around these little pigments. Okay, so this is Enamored, and this is our crease brush. And I actually didn't use, I didn't spray any rose water on this because I just didn't. So just like dig it into your crease. I say dig, it's not like it hurts. I just kind of go around here in the corner. And don't worry, everything is blendable if it looks weird at first. Gets you a little more definition or whatever on your eyes. Y'all know I'm not a. Why can't I do this? Why did I? I haven't done a video in a long time. Y'all know I'm not a makeup artist, so. But I like doing the crease. Okay, so we'll just see that part. We'll just blend that with the other stuff. But I think that's probably good, right? I don't even have any plans. Oh, wait, I do. I'm going to get my nails. Well, my nails are. I let, waited too long, so all my nails fell off. Ugh, they look horrible. Okay, so that's a little crease, and we'll blend it so it doesn't look crazy. I'm gonna see if I can get any of this adorable out. I've been stocking my mailbox for my order. There, yeah, I'm getting, I'm still getting some. It's awesome, and I don't use a lot because it's the upper lid. I just use it on the upper lid and then just kind of blend in the stuff. So again, I'm just going back to my shader brush. Just kind of, this is how I clean it in between. Really official business. Okay. That's my child in the background, wigging, wigging, wigging. So I just kind of go up here over in the brow and then just blend, baby blend. My lighting in here kind of stinks. I need to get some kind of professional or semi-professional lighting deal. I'll take a picture in the car for y'all later because, you know, car pictures are the best for some reason. So, that basically, I feel like I blended out my crease a little too much. Oh, well, let's touch it up, right? hard to tell in this video. Me, I mean, doing it. So, sorry if you're like, okay, lady. All right, so that is all we're gonna do for today. That is uh, three pigment colors, one on the lid, one in the crease, and one on the upper lid. And like I said, the pigments are awesome. You can use them without the rose water as I did the crease and the thing and I just added some rose water to the pink to make it a little more creamy um, and the pigments are $12.50 each or a set of four for $45 and super long lasting like I said and over 30 colors to pick from so find your color get your order in let me know if you have any questions and have a great day I'm gonna go rescue my child now you can find my website www.catsglam.com